Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's that? I didn't see you there. You may be asking yourself, Plushie, how do you know what the best stuffed animal is? I've been making stuffed animals since I was a little kid, and one of the most important parts about any stuffed animal is the fabric used to make the stuffed animal. And one of the main problems that I've seen with stuffed animals today, especially licensed characters, is that they use low quality materials and bank on the licensed character's popularity. I'm actually extremely excited because I ordered this a while ago, and I've been waiting for it to come for a minute. This is what I believe will be my new favorite piece of my collection. You guys, I am literally sweating. Here it is. The Japan exclusive EV plush life size faux fur. Nice. This is like the Ferrari of Pokemon stuffed animals right here. The fur quality on this is just, just amazing. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. Just, this is like a real fur. This is like petting like a dog. Holy God, this is amazing. Wow, look, it's got the the Japan exclusive EV tag. There's been a bunch of EV hype. So yeah, this is by far the most high quality Pokemon stuffed animal I have ever seen. Uh, there were two runs of this EV plush done, uh, one in 2013 and one I believe in 2009. This is the 2013 edition. Uh, so. Oh my god, yeah, look at this. This is... <laughs> oh my god. Here is a side-by-side -side size comparison with one of the original Hasbro plush. Uh, as you can see, this one is just superior quality in every way from especially like a lot of the stuff that's been coming out in the US. Like I would love, love to see this continue. I've loved Eevee for a long time and I've collected the plushies from the very beginning but as you can tell like they are just not as high quality as this Japan exclusive stuff. Uh, a lot of them are made from a more canvas type material uh, like this Tomy one uh, or they've got this like more soft minky type material which I think this one is also yeah this is one of the larger Tomy ones uh, from the boxes but this one is just it just seems so much more realistic. These have the cartoonish elements and the very crisp lines, but there's something about just having a nice furry boy that makes things great. Like the faux fur is just unimaginably soft and just gives it another level of realism that Pokemon hasn't had in their plush in a really long time. It makes you feel like you're actually petting a real Eevee. Like, this is something that I would definitely, definitely keep for a long time. This is my favorite stuffed animal from here on out. It's got the embroidered mouth. It's got the plastic eyes. It's got the ears. Oh my gosh. And look at that tail, too. It's just so well shaped. So well made. Everything is just amazing. Even though everything is this faux fur, it's got two levels of fur density still. It's got the short fur on the brown part and the longer, more shaggy fur on like the neck scruff. It is so nice, so, so, so nice. Honestly, the closest thing we've gotten in America to the realism of the Japanese plush is this Build-A-Bear. It's got, it's got soft fur that protrudes to an extent. Uh, here's the Ban Presto older one for reference. This is a different one, it's a little bigger. Uh, but as you can tell, the fur density isn't quite the same. And I don't know. Uh, here's old one, newer one, newest one, real dog. You can tell the fur density is just a little off.